Let's check the weather outside. Well, that don't bode well for doing anything outdoorsy today. Well, considering the rain outside, I can't exactly do anything uh, outdoorsy today. And I came to the realization I don't have a, a, a weather cover or a rain shield for my bike. So, I've got a pile of tarps. I've got a sewing machine. Took a bunch of measurements. Uh, there you can see them, sort of. Took a bunch of measurements for the bike to make a cover for it, and that's what I'm going to do today. Okay. First part of this situation. Get some light on the right part of the machine there. And this one up, too. These tarps are four foot by six foot. I need it 12 foot long to do the uh, entire length of the top, front, and back of the bike. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is uh, sew two of these together. These are absolutely cheap ass tarps from the dollar store, so I'm not too worried about uh, the quality of workmanship right now. I just want to get this job done. And the bifold to make good solid seam. Nothing has to be accurate, it's just making sure it's in one piece. Considering how much uh, cover for bike actually costs, it's too expensive in my, in my view. These are from Dollar Tree, so a buck fifty a piece, and I got four of them. So, okay, I spent six bucks, and I'm going to spend a couple hours sewing this together. I think that's a good deal. Fold it up nice. And fold it flat and top stitch it just to make sure it's more solid. Top stitch everything, by the way, is just a. I wouldn't call it a bad habit, but it's a habit that I have. Everything is double top stitched and double stitched and reinforced and it's like those uh, Oshkosh kids outfits that uh, end up being worn for generations because kids kneecap will wear before a pair of pants will.
And yeah, that's paint. I used them as a uh, used them as a drop sheet when I was spray painting stuff at one point. Again, buck fifty a piece. Who cares? Not going to be waterproof, but it'll be pretty resistant to weather, I think. At least enough to keep the rain off the seat and the snow off of it in the winter. That's really all it has to do. Make sure it stays dry where my ass has to be. Twelve foot by four foot. I'll start you up again when uh, we get to the next uh, next piece. Okay, so now it is four foot by roughly twelve foot. And since he's here and I can hear him, I'll introduce you to the newest member of the household. This little guy is named Reaper. And he is very fast, and if of his six ends, five of them are very, very sharp. <laughs> but that is the acoustic kitty over there with the cone on her head. That's her little brother. And she is just recovering from a surgery where she got fixed. Didn't you? Yeah. She's being good. But... I will uh, measure up, marker this up, and show you what the pattern looks like. And then we'll start cutting it. Not too sure how well you can see the red Sharpie on there, but it is on there. Marking out a pattern. Move out of the line there. Back down there, all the way to the end. So, yeah, the pattern's on there. I can't see it too well, but trust me, it's on there. Next, i got to cut that out. And I'm going to leave a couple of inches of seam allowance on every piece. Mainly because... Yeah, there's one. Mainly because... I, uh... Well, one, it's a cheap tarp. And two, I'm doing a rolled stitch for the seam and then a top stitch on top of it. So I'm going to need a lot of extra material in there. Basically, I'm paranoid about shit falling apart, so I overbuild it. Okay, I'll let you know when the next when I'm ready. I'll cut this one, measure up the next pieces, and cut those. And then when we're ready to start assembling it, I'll show them all to you and then start assembling it. Okay. Not sure how well you can see the uh, Sharpie on this one either, but it's there. Up that way. And this way. Makes a weird looking little shape, but I gotta cut two of those. I'll cut those and uh, get the cast to stop playing with them and start putting stuff together. Okay, now that all these are laid out and cut, let's start stitching them together. See what happens. Accuracy is not important in this instance. If you ask a farmer, what is the secret to pretty welds? The answer is thick paint. So yes, put this together to the best of our ability within a reasonable amount of time, if not both. Oh, lost the thread. You have to watch 
much of joy I feel threading a needle every time. Thread breaks. Apologize for the audio, but uh, the phone camera is right next to the, or right above the motor on the machine, and I can't uh, really get away from that. Last sewing I did most recently was fixing a stuffed animal, so this is a treat for me. doing some sewing of some kind is a treat. Even if it's just an offhand project that you don't even have to think about to do. Long seams, rough stitching, no matter. It all does the necessary job of holding things together. So as I can to that corner without going overboard, because corner that means straighten the under layer, straighten the upper layer, get that fold going again, drop the foot, and start. Once it's started, I'm going in a straight enough line. Let's worry. Yep. Simple. As much as a lot of people might try to convince you otherwise, sewing fabric, for the most part, using the machine is very forgiving. You can fix, you can take things apart and put them back together again you need to. As long as you leave yourself enough seam allowance. And aren't too much of a perfectionist. It's a rewarding job. You can have it as a job. Or a job. It's so rewarding actually get something out of it at the end, unlike a lot of things. You can have an actual physical object on the completion of your task. It's not like uh, programming. Or something on a computer. Actual factual physical reality and useful.
So as you can see, this is going to take a while. How about I bring you back when uh, it's all together and finished, and I can show you the, the end product. Well, boys and girls, this is what you call perfunction. Six dollars in material, about two hours of actual work, and it adequately performs the task required. The downside is I put this thing on after it's already been raining on the bike all day, so it's wet underneath anyway. But next time, I'll be able to keep it dry. Okay, talk to you later.